In 2020, while the eyes of most PUBG Mobile viewers were focused on Southeast Asia as well as other regions, there was one region in particular that went under the radar, the 2020 EMEA League. Numerous teams from different regions were fighting for a spot in the 2020 PMGC. Among them, the teams from the EU region were the most dazzling. Kanina Power, which had previously won third place in the 2020 PMWL West League, managed to break through and eventually won sixth place in the 2020 PMGC. Class Steel Athletics from Turkey also successfully took eighth place. For the entire EU region, this was a great start, and in the future, the EU region would grow into an even stronger region. The EU region seems to have endless potential. They always have a number of astonishingly talented newcomers. In the 2021 PMWI, in addition to the veteran team Kanina Power taking second place, the newly reorganized team in 2021 next Rhea Xenox in the smokes, the solo by themselves. Surprisingly won third place. The EU region seems to just have endless potential. There's always a number of astonishingly talented newcomers coming up through the ranks, developing their skills. And in 2021 at the PMWI, you had some of the veterans there for sure. Kanina Power taking second place, an incredible performance coming through from them to get that second place. But not only that, you had the reorganized team uh, for next Ruya in 2021, uh, who won PMPL Turkey. They came first in their region and then were invited on the back of that to the PMWI West to take third place. So these new New talents working as this new roster at the time a phenomenal resurgence there and there's so much more left in the pipeline i'm sure for this region i'm really excited for what the future has and i can't wait to see what they've got in the 2021 pmgc teams from around the world gathered once again first of all worth mentioning is that among all the participating countries in the grand finals turkey had the most with three among them teams like s2g and next Rhea finished fourth and sixth respectively this was a massive achievement the efforts of the EU region are constantly bearing fruit. Now they just needed an opportunity. 2021 yılında dünya şampiyonası istediğimiz gibi başlamıştı. Çünkü West aşamasında 3 takımımızı birden ilk 6'ya sokmayı başardık ve büyük finallere 3 takımımızı göndermiştik. S2G 4. olarak buraya katılma hakkı kazanmıştı ve kadrosunda Rip7, Timber, Kalse, Silas gibi isimler vardı. Büyük finallerde ne yapacağını çok fazla kestiremiyorduk temsilcilerimizin çünkü dünyadaki takımların iyi performansları söz konusuydu. Büyük finallerde temsilcimiz S2G 4. olmayı başardı, Nexu'ya 6. olmayı başardı, maalesef Fenerbahçe ilk 8'in dışarısında kalmıştı. Ama bu takımın ileride çok iyi şeyler vaat ettiği konusunda herkes hemfikirdi. Next, let's go directly to the 2022 PMGC. At a time when everyone was focusing on whether Nova could win three consecutive championships, a team that was not originally a favorite to win was about to become the focus on the stage. S2G performed consistently in the first two days of competition, always maintaining a position at the top of the leaderboard. And on the final day, S2G changed its conservative tactical strategy and sought to gain more elimination points in the last few rounds. And in the last round, S2G secured the championship with 15 elimination points. The champion of 2022, it is S2G! S2G. They finally broke through and made history for the EU region. 2022 Dünya Şampiyonası bizi büyük zaferler getirdi. Tabii ki Dünya Şampiyonası başlamadan önce bu zaferlerin geleceği konusunda çok bir fikrimiz yoktu. S2G kadrosunda bazı değişiklikler yapmıştı. Takıma yeni katılan oyuncular vardı. Özellikle Reis ile birlikte takımın form seviyesi gerçekten çok yüksekti. 2022 Dünya Şampiyonası finallerine iki takım göndermeyi başarmıştık. Bir tanesi S2G, bir tanesi Fireflux. Maalesef iki takımımızın kaderleri birazcık farklı oldu. İlk günden itibaren S2G sürekli olarak zirveyi kovalarken Fireflux için işler iyi gitmemişti. Üçüncü gün geldiğinde S2G güzel maçlar geçirdi ve şampiyonluğu Türkiye'ye getirmeyi başardı. Bu Türkiye e-spor tarihindeki en unutulmaz başarıydı. This year, the EU region has continuously produced even more strong teams. First of all, G Gladiators won first place in the 2023 PUBG Mobile Pro League Spring Regional Championships and third place in the 2023 PMWI. Veteran teams like Next Rhea and Kanina Power have been performing better and better this year and successfully qualified for the 2023 PMGC. Subsequently, hot recent teams like Mad Bulls, BRA Esports, Major Pride, Melisi Esports, Demorte, among others from EU, have also successfully gotten a spot in PMGC. They all look forward to continuing the success of the EU region in 2023. 
There are many questions surrounding PMGC. Will S2G successfully defend their championship? Will another EU team lift the trophy? Could it even be a team unexpected to win it all? Let's witness it together in Turkey. 